The reason I'm here is relates to a project I did with Grain uh, in part, as, as a research partnership with the university to develop a new kind of model for kind of publishing called New Photoscapes. Um, so the talk that um, I gave looked at that as a as kind of tried to use it as a case study um, for new ways of kind of uh, creating content, generating knowledge, collaboratively working with people like Stephen Mays, Katrina Sluis, Charlotte Cotton, creating encounters. Um, but hoping, hopefully, as an experiment, trying to look at how we can engage with both the web as a form, with e-publishing -publish, e and kind of the, the, the printed kind of artifact too. The starting point for it is, I mean, you know, wearing these kind of uh, multiple kind of hats, I think, for me, helps me sort of become comfortable with where we're, where, where we're at. Uh, I think education has traditionally sought to set out this map. So in other words, it tells you all of the key places to visit that you need to encounter to then be familiar with this kind of uh, environment. But when that environment is continually evolving and changing, um, perhaps that as a, as a methodology kind of needs to be revisited. So new photoscapes and the work that we've been doing at Coventry um, pushing open access, open education, uh, and kind of li liquid kind of publishing and, and hybrid publishing, sort of maybe suggests that perhaps if we work with the analogy of a compass, then we immediately have a different kind of starting point. So in other words, it's not about knowing exactly where we are, it's knowing how we can move around and kind of generate a, uh, kind of our own new pathways sort of through it. So that could be commercially, that could be in terms of sustainability as a business, it could be in terms of the generation of the, the type of work that you wish to create. Fundamentally, it means there's a new role that you have, you are in charge, you are, you know, you are your own kind of being. You don't have to kind of buy that map or navigate the map that somebody else tells you. So in other words, it gives you another method of kind of uh, navigating via or with, in partnership with gatekeepers as we heard over numerous occasions. Uh, what I've thoroughly enjoyed about this particular symposium is there's been an incredibly uh, broad spectrum and focus for each of the panels. Um, so what that has enabled is a conversation to commence, to, to begin. Uh, I think if I take the example of yesterday around kind of the archive, you know, it isn't just trying to deal with this thing that's in the past, it's how do we make archives kind of live and living um, but understanding kind of the, the, the cultural and, and the heritage that is, is kind of vital there. So the only way you can do that is you bring together a group of people as we did um, for the things that we encountered, is you bring a, a group of people who care passionately about it together into a space where they're willing to share and open up and engage in that debate. Doesn't mean everybody's going to agree, but as long as you've got all these various kind of um, starting points, then you hopefully can collect something new. So I think symposia are vital in terms of that kind of way of working. The key thing then is what do you then do with it? So I think, you know, hopefully from this particular event, there's going to be some outcomes that can be then drawn, uh, not necessarily just into another symposia, but to inform what's happening in the, in the wider kind of photographic field, hopefully.